And his whole back got slashed. Telling Ryan, tell me if I don't send the money, that he's going to stab him right in the, right in the end. 2018 was a trying year for Jeff Rust and his daughter Harmony. Financially, emotionally, they say they were constantly in fear for Ryan's life and their own. Anytime the phone rang in the middle of the night, we'd jump out of bed like we were electrocuted. Sometimes we get 20 calls a day. From cell phones, inmates aren't supposed to be able to get anywhere near. In a statement, the Alabama Department of Corrections says... Correctional leaders across the country know that the presence of cell phones within correctional facilities is one of the most, if not the most, dangerous threats we face. Our facilities are dilapidated, contain blind spots, and are porous in nature, so we simply cannot always effectively surveil every area of each prison. The introduction of cell phones started years ago and has exacerbated and multiplied the impact of a variety of issues, such as extortion and abuse. All text messages from him. Asking for money or explaining what's happened or what's going on. Jeff and Harmony continuing to pay up, hoping to endure until Ryan was eligible for parole in 2019. I had sent MoneyGrams so many times um, to so many different people that MoneyGram blocked me. They say they tried to contact prison officials, but their concerns consistently fell on deaf ears. The DOC says they have no formal complaints on record and they don't tolerate extortion. I felt so helpless and felt so hopeless. Then came December 21st of 2018. And when I got the call that, that he had passed. With the memories still raw, the rusts aren't buying the prison system statement that it was a suicide. About eight to nine more months, he'd have been out of there. 